to come take a photo of us. We needed something for press because our first shows were about to be on the East Coast and that was literally a year ago and right now we're on this couch doing this interview and so much has happened since then. Rehearsal to like touring and being up late till three, and then when I get home, all the rest of the guys in the band usually keep that similar schedule of being on the road. And when I'm home, I'm usually in bed by like ten. It's just the way it is right now. And this time for Polisa and this band, we don't know how long it'll last. We've been to Europe twice. We've been around the country a few times. Certainly did not expect that to happen this fast. It's also has been kind of a trip at a few of the shows where I was like, I don't know if I could handle it. There's too many people coming up. actually my daughter's nursery when she was born. First my ex-husband's office, and then now it's my kind of play area. Very small and private place, but it doesn't have a door, so I usually just work here when no one's home. So now I'm just figuring out what key it is and still, or what I want to do to it, I guess. When I made the record, I was on tour with gangs, and Ryan always controlled this live. When we started working together, I just wanted to use it. Because this wasn't really supposed to be a band, it was just a project. We, we never even uh, really talked about it. Ryan had a lot of beats kind of in his arsenal already because he's been so active in all these other projects. And when they started collaborating, Chani just freestyling over these beats, suddenly within you know a few sessions of working together, they had the whole album's worth of songs. Ryan Olson is a mad scientist. <laughs> is elusive, you know, he refuses to go on camera. You know, his real talent is curating people and combines them in these kind of unprecedented ways and really unexpected ways um, that just really fuel this hyper-collaborative spirit. Fun ideas carry from like every angle folks as they become an actual band it's definitely grown into itself and they're discovering more and more as they do it you know as they get to write and new stuff i think it's helpful and neat to see the different voices exist i feel like this band's definitely put to good use everything that i was trying to achieve for 10 years but really had no idea why i was trying to do it so hard um, so when the band rolled around i felt like i was ready
started doing well and then now transferring to like huge stages and three week tours, you feel like you don't know if you're quite capable. There's a certain element of fame and attention that makes it possible for you to continue your work, but you don't want it to be false. You want it to be based on the music that you're making. working on this backdrop for the show on Saturday. So it, spray paint it. Hopefully it'll be somewhat interesting. It's really important to me that someday there's some artistic visuals on stage that make the show more of a, you know, a play. Is this something that's important enough to to kind of leave your daughter? It makes me want to do a really good job and makes me want to take it very seriously when I'm on the road. Oh,